Hey people, how's it going? Hope you well. So it's our last day in Poland today and uh, we are actually going to be taking a bus today to Berlin in Germany. So that's not gonna be a straightforward journey. All in all, it's gonna take around six hours, six and a half hours or just over, shall I say. So I'll quickly show you. So this is what the times are looking like. So we leave at 2.35 from Big Dost and we arrive in Berlin at 9.15. So not the uh, not the most simplistic of uh, journeys. Um, and this one was a bit more money than we usually pay as well. Uh, so for this trip, for the return trip at least, because we're coming back to Poland, it's gonna cost us 156.88 British pounds. So one of the more expensive buses we've, we've got on, because um, recently a lot of the Flix buses we've been getting have been I don't know, like four pound fifty, or no more than fifteen to twenty quid. So lots of money for this one. So hopefully it's worth it. It's an incredibly long bus journey though, so uh, I do understand why it's quite, you know, quite expensive. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look around uh, Bidgosht before we leave, and we're going to highlight anything that we didn't get to show in the previous vlogs in the city, and then we will start our journey which is gonna be a long one, so let's get it done. All right guys, so just en route to the uh, bus station now, but whilst we're doing that, we thought we'd show you around some of the nice areas. So as you can see here in a lovely park, which uh, in Poland, I think I mentioned before, but there's always really nice parks in the area. And this is one of many. Don't ask me to read any of this because I wouldn't know where to start, but loads of places to hang out and relax in, uh, in Poland which is really nice. It's a lovely hot day today. We've got our very, very heavy bags on us. So uh, yeah, one of our missions now is to go and find some food for the six and a half hour journey and uh, keep ourselves well stocked and well fed for the journey. So let's continue looking around, seeing what else we can find of interest and then let's go and get on that bus. Look at this, people. How amazing is this building? Uh, that is stunning. I wanted to document this yesterday, but by that point, I had, uh, I'd been and gone. So very, very pleased to get to show you. Look at that, stunning. I mean, really, Poland is uh, quite a mixture of architecture. Really. You've got the kind of brutalist kind of uh, high rise concrete buildings and then You've got some of the more modern buildings over there, which are kind of popping up everywhere. And then finally, you've got these old traditional buildings just here, and they're absolutely stunning. Like, how incredible is that? So that's just a slice of uh, some of the architecture you'll see if you come to Poland. And uh, even though we're going to Germany, we're still very, very uh, glad we came to Poland and experienced it. Now, the reason why we're going to Germany is because we've both been learning German and, uh, we want to try and practice as much as we can so uh yeah hopefully it goes well and people understand us we have spoke german before in uh austria it wasn't too bad but yeah we're gonna uh, hopefully do a bit better this time okay guys so we stopped off at this nice uh like big shopping center and uh we've, we're here at this uh place here called Button and uh, it's like a bakery so we've ordered various things so we've obviously got punchki we've got some sort of a tart I don't know what's I don't know what some of these things are obviously I know what an eclair is that's what Tammy's got I've no idea what that's called I think it's what was that called again Sam she's just looking what this one's called it's called Seromac I'm not sure it looks like there's some sort of cream cheese Look, looks like there's rhubarb and a crumble on that and then of course more punchki what's in the punchki by the way is it jam look at that they're not uh, stingy with the fillings and then tammy's just over there just uh she's having a chocolada which is i believe a hot chocolate and i'm having a flat white so uh the ladies here were very very uh, helpful i uh, did speak some polish but we kind of balanced english because my polish is not very good but i did my best if you watch previous videos you'll see me speaking polish with people um but yeah i gotta show you this quickly guys how strange is this look this place here called deals if you look at the color the branding inside the store everything 
that is the exact same as our pound shops in the UK. In the UK these are called pound shop. So obviously they're not called Zwati shop or Zwati land, so they're called pound land in the UK. We just call them pound shops or a pound shop. And it's because everything costs a pound. But here they're called deals. And I'm sure they're the exact same company. I mean, if they're not, the branding is so similar that uh, it's almost uncanny. But this is a shopping center that you'll find in Poland, in uh, Bydgoszcz. And it's a very, very luxury, very upmarket, modern shopping center. As you can see, there's a lot of variety, a lot of options, lots of things to do. people so near the bus station now we've got about an hour into our bus but I thought I'd show you around the station just so you can get an idea of what it's like there and uh, I do apologize I'm having this big bag so if I look a, bit, a little bit weighted down and I've got this big old rucksack on me so uh, traveling, traveling quite heavy today but needs must and all that but this is the bus station I'll quickly flip it over now so you can see Autobusui, Autobusui, I think it's how you pronounce it, Dwozic. I'll put the spelling down below, but you can pretty much guarantee I'm getting it wrong. <laughs> but this is the bus station. And, uh, yeah, it's quite nice. If you remember, one of the most recent bus stations we went to was uh, in uh, Albania, and that wasn't very good at all. But this one is very nice, very modern. Very clean. All the facilities you need. I'll go and show you the platforms quickly as well. Just trying to take my bag off. Let's go and have a look. So you've got a little shop in there as well if you need to buy essentials in there. Look at that, you've got hot dogs, you've got all sorts of different things you can buy from there. But we just went to the uh, the pound shop place, Poundland. I don't know what they call it here, I've just forgot. <laughs> but this is what the platforms look like. So we need platform nine off the top of my head. And uh, look at that as well. Look at the size of that, uh, that bridge. It's quite impressive. I don't know where this bus is going, but hopefully I'm not gonna get in his way. And uh, yeah, so we need platform nine. We don't need to be here just yet, so that's why we're not stopping there. We're gonna wait inside there because it's a lot cooler. But uh, yeah, here we go, just here, look. Flix bus. We've got various different things. Prague, Vashava, Yidnia, Yidnia? I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. I've never, never even heard of that place. And so this is the one we're getting, the Berlin. Uh, I don't think it's that exact time. Um, but we are getting that bus and it goes to Poznan and then Berlin, or two places in Berlin. So uh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure it's that one. I can't remember what time it is, but I know it's the Berlin bus. Um, so yeah, actually, there you go. This is the one we're getting. So it goes to various places, Znin, Poznan, Berlin, Lotznisko. I think that means Lotznisko. I think that means like I thought it was like railway station, but it might be bus station and Sukrutz. I'm not sure what that means, but yeah. So this is the bus station, pretty much. So this is what you can expect. I'll zoom out. There you go. <laughs> this is what you can expect when you come here. And uh, it's a lovely sunny day. Really hoping the bus is aircon because we're going to need it. But going to wait for the bus now. Got another. Let's have a look. Another hour, roughly, and our bus is here. So, let's go. Looks like I've jinxed it, guys. It's happened again. If you uh, watched our previous video, uh, when we went to Torun, our bus got delayed. That time it was by an hour. This time it's only by 12 minutes, but uh, a delay is a delay. I was uh, singing their praises, but the strange thing is the bus isn't too far. It's just here and we're there. So, uh, I don't know what the delay is. Maybe there's traffic or something, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to wait, I guess. Well, this is interesting, so for a quick update, it's now saying that it arrived at, you know, 2.41, but currently, 
it's 2.47 but however I can see that the bus is there and I think I've just seen it arrive so if we keep an eye over here shortly we should see a Flix bus rolling around this corner in fact if we look over here we should see it over here there you go so I don't know if you can see this bus in the background there but our Flix bus is just over there so let's do this Your bags up. Right, so we're on. Sammy is just uh, getting the bags up there. We thought someone was sat in our seat, but it was just uh, someone who had been sat here from the previous journey. So, all's well. So now, we're just going to wait and see what a six hour bus journey is going to look like. Hopefully not too bad. So wish us luck people, this is going to be a long one. Are you ready Sam? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's not with it. I don't blame her. Right, let's go. I've got to say guys, before we head off as well actually, the leg space here is absolutely incredible. Watch this. Look. look at that. Enough room to tap dance around here. So we've got all of our supplies in here. And most importantly, and I'm probably in the wrong bag. But I've got my beers. I don't actually know if I'm allowed to drink these on board, so. I have checked and people said I'm allowed to, but you can't always believe what you read online. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'm not wrong, but this is quite a busy bus station. I mean, look at this, it's popping. Someone's left their bag there as well. So we expect we're gonna have someone running on in a minute, panicking, but uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys are prepared. Are you guys ready and prepared for this craziness? Well, just over six and a half hours, like six hours and 40 minutes. So yeah, we, uh, we're gonna do this and uh, hopefully, oh, there we go. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to uh, make it work. But yeah, let's go. So just having a little stop off in Poznan. I think that's how you pronounce this place. And uh, stretching the old legs and good way to use the toilet. And then uh, I'll show you it, give you an idea of what the toilet looks like. That's the bus, not too bad. The toilet's free now, so I'll show you that as well. Oh, it don't smell too good in here, guys. There we go, it's not working with. Just waiting to the pot now. How long has it been now, Tom? Um, what time are we on? So that's the current time. And so, about three hours roughly. Just a little bit of three hours. Feels longer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as I say, this is Poznan and it's so hot. Honestly, these things up here don't work very well at all. Um, God, I'm getting a, a very, very slight breezy flat. What about you? I can't feel anything. See, the aircon don't work too well, but uh, hey, it does. It does a job. But the next stop, I believe, is uh, the Berlin um, 
airport, which I thought was Flughafen. So I'm gonna have to check my German understanding. I thought airport was Flughafen, but I guess not. So uh, yeah, that's the next stop. Still quite a bit of the trip to go, but Poznan looks quite nice. So I may have to check this place out someday. Willkommen zu Deutschland. Es ist kalt und ich habe ein bisschen Kopfschmerzen, aber die Stadt ist sehr schön und ich bin sehr aufregend. I hope I got that right guys, because uh, my German is uh, quite patchy at the best of times, but I do my best. So as I say, we're here in Berlin in the Südkreuz. Kreuz? Südkreuz? I'm going to say Südkreuz. <laughs> I can't quite do the, the sound of the R. Um, and this is the train station for Berlin. So we were supposed to get off at the uh, the actual bus station, but then we realised actually it would be equally as fast just to get off here and uh, then head our, uh, head over to our apartment. So it should take roughly about 40 minutes, but this journey all in all has taken us almost seven hours. That's currently where we're at. So, uh, and it's telling me to do my German uh, Duolingo as well. So I better get on that later. But it's, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad a journey. Um, it was actually, the, because of the amount of leg room, it was actually quite straightforward um, in comparison to some of the other journeys. The journey in the UK that we took for seven hours, um, very uncomfortable because it didn't have half that leg room. Um, unfortunately, the window pane next to me wasn't very well fitted, so it's just vibrating in my ear for the whole journey. Um, but apart from that, it was good. The toilet was quite small, but it did the job. Um, and, you know, the driver, although he didn't speak English, we did understand what he was saying when he was talking about the stops. So I, I thought it was quite good. Uh, what about you guys? Quick. It was quick, wasn't it? It didn't feel like it took that long in comparison to England. But then when we did it in England, uh, a long journey, it was a night bus, so we had to sleep as well. But well, strangely enough, we've still got a bit of daylight left, and that's uh, one of the great things about spring. But anyway, we're going to head now to our apartment. Keep your eyes peeled for our Berlin videos, and we just want to say thank you very much for watching. We hope you have a great day, and from the clan, we shall see you all very soon. Take care, people. <laughs>